this is Lineage OS 23, one of the most trusted and long-lasting custom ROMs available for Android users. In this video, I will show you the process of installing the top-tier custom ROM for Android devices. This is Lineage OS 23 based on Android 16. It's widely used custom ROM built on Android open source project. It's great for older devices that no longer get official support from manufacturers. Not only does Lineage OS offers security updates to fix vulnerabilities, but it also gives you access to the latest Android features and improvements. Before we begin, let's see the requirements for installing Lineage OS on your Android device. You need a compatible Android device or tablet. You can verify if your device is supported by visiting their official website. Now, these are the devices from different vendors that are compatible running latest Lineage OS based on Android 16. You also need a computer running Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, a USB cable to connect your device to the computer, and an internet connection. Before installing Lineage OS on your Android device, it's highly recommended to back up your important data, such as photos and videos. Everything on your device will be erased to install Lineage OS. Also, make sure to update your device to the latest firmware. Now, on your Android smartphone or tablet, go to Settings, select Passwords and Accounts, and sign up from your Google account. Then remove biometrics such as login passwords or fingerprints. Then go to Android Developer website and download the platform tools for your computer and choose your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows 11. Once downloaded, extract the zip file to the C drive. Now, within this folder, you will find the ADB and fastboot commands. Now, let's add this path to the system environment to access them from anywhere. To do so, highlight the address bar then type env in the search bar and open it. Then click on environment variables. Then select the path and click on edit and create a new variable and paste the path. Now open command prompt and type adb dash dash version. It should display the information about the command indicating that the path has been added successfully. Next up, go to this link and download the Google USB driver. Once the download is complete, extract the zip file. Now inside the extracted folder, find the file named Android underscore fin USB. Right click on it and select install to set up the USB driver. Then go ahead and open your web browser and go to the official Lineage OS website. Then click on Get Lineage OS and search for your device. For demonstration purposes, I will be using Pixel 7a as an example. I'm going to open this link in a brand new tab to download the required files. At the time of making this video, Lineage OS 23 based on Android 16 is the latest version. I will download all these files and place them into a folder for easier navigation. Then click on installation instructions for your device.
Now connect your Android device to the computer via USB port. Now follow these instructions carefully. If you have a different device, please refer to its corresponding instructions. Then ensure your device is running the latest firmware. Now it's time to unlock the bootloader. On your Android device, go ahead and open settings, about page and tap on the build number 7 times to activate the developer options. Now go ahead and open system settings and look for developer options and enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. On your Windows computer, open command prompt or Windows terminal. And enter this command adb space devices. Then on your phone, you may see an authentication prompt. Go ahead and click on allow. And you may see your device is recognized by adb. Now type this command to reboot your device into the fast boot mode. Then type fastboot space devices and you should see your device is recognized. Then type this command to unlock the bootloader. After executing this command, you may see a prompt on your device. Now use the volume keys on your device to select the unlock bootloader option and press the power button to confirm. And that's it, you have successfully unlocked the bootloader. You know, in case after unlocking the bootloader, if in case your device boots into the stock Android OS, you need to put the device back into the fast boot mode. Just go ahead and restart your device and keep holding the volume down button to enter the fast boot mode. It's time to flash the additional partitions and custom recovery. Then go ahead and navigate to the directory where you placed all the files in the command prompt. Then type fastboot devices to make sure that your device is still recognized. Then using the installation instructions, I'm going to follow every step to flash additional partitions. Finally, I'm going to paste this command and press enter to flash the Lineage OS recovery. After that, type this command to reboot your device into recovery mode. Now it's time to install Lineage OS. Now choose Factory Reset using the volume keys and press the power button. Select Format Data and press the power button to factory reset the device. This will also remove device encryption. Now once done, go back to the main menu, select Apply Update and choose Apply from ADB. Now enter the command adb-d site load and use the name of your lineage zip file, then press enter to flash it. Now this will take approximately 10 minutes. Sit back, relax, and please be patient.
After some time, you may see this message on your device that allows you to flash the additional packages such as Google applications. If you don't want to install G apps, select No to reboot into Lineage OS. And that's how you install Lineage OS based on Android 16 on any compatible Android device. Now please check the description for more information and don't forget to read the official installation instructions for your specific Android device. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal, I will see you in the next one.